Okay, morning folks. I think uh, September 12th, 2022. Uh, we're going to go over the infamous slash famous steps. Electric steps. Uh, a lot of people have them. There's a couple ways to operate them. All right, I'm going to show you. Go over the signals. Usually it's a four pin connector underneath. A lot of travel trailers and fifth wheels and all that versus your driven driven class A, class B, class C's. Now, there's a couple way things work. One, there's ample power on the red wire. Okay. Four pin connector with a red wire. I'm gonna lay it down right here. And the red wire is 14 gauge. Okay. And it's coming from the feed side of your battery disconnect switch. So that would be your house batteries. And it's 20 to 25 amp fuse, okay? So there it is again. We have the four pin connector, the red 12 volt DC battery disconnect delivery side on or off. So if you got the house disconnect off, steps are off, can't move. 14 gauge, 20 to 25 amp fuse. Now, that's the first place you check, but there's a good indication that you are getting some power to it. I didn't say the right voltage, but if you open your door and you see the little yellow light underneath working, some of you don't know it's under there because the bulb's out. Uh, put an LED bulb in it, folks. Uh, a little bit less drain on the system and all. Now, if you don't see the light coming on, like I said, it could be a bulb, could be a module, could be you ain't got no bulb in it, could be you're missing 12 volts. So you have to climb under there and get it. All right, you have to do a 12 volt check on the red wire with the house connected. Now let's talk about the next one. The steps go in and out with a couple commands. All right, so a lot of people don't even know this, but you need to learn it and I'll go over it, ready? So as long as you got supply voltage of 12.6 and above, even 12 volts I've seen these things work on, and that's kind of low. Other stuff will mess up by then. But So what brings a step in? Well, what brings a step in, brings a step out, is the magnetic door switch. Now what wire is that? Here we go. All right, so we'll turn. It is the brown wire which is a 16 gauge okay brown wire 16 gauge it's only four pins under there some of you cut these things off well what i do it's got a weather pack on it i put dial that grease down in there on both ends this side is sealed and you can even see it it's got different colors in it gray and a blue and the blue is red all right so now the brown door magnetic switch, some are pull down ground switches. Some are normally open, normally closed. It depends what module you get. Usually they'll send you both switches with a new module. So we look over here. There it is. There's a switch by ground. That's a pull down. That's why we came up with that word, okay? That tells the module. So you should have 12 volts on that wire if the door is open that's a reed switch so the magnet pulls it closed pulls the voltage down so with the door open the magnet off you should get 12 volts on this brown wire okay now 12 volts on that wire what does that do okay that tells that thing to go out now when you ground it it tells it to come in so you got to know that All right now what's the next wire we're going to talk about well let me hold on somebody's trying to get a hold of me we're going to talk about the white wire we call that the override switch we're going to override the signal from the door switch right that's the primary one is the door open or closed right if it's closed bring the steps in if it's open bring the steps out Please, folks, let the steps come all the way out before you step on them. 
That's the number one thing. I'm going to make another video of me under the RV going over this. But if you don't know what these wire colors do, ain't any, no sense of getting under there. All right. And it's your coach. It's your RV. You can do what you want. So remember the motto, test not guess. So the white wire is the override for the magnetic switch. The white wire says, you know what? We'll just keep the step out, right? Let's just stop making it go in and out, wearing the components out, killing the battery. You know, people got to wait. Do they wait? No, I see them step right on them and ain't even halfway out. Like, okay, that's why your gearbox is messed up. All right, so here we go. We'll turn it around. So you have a white wire. The white is, once again, 16 gauge wire. The brown, the white, and the yellow are all 16 gauges. White step over step override stops the step from going and retracting. It overrides the brown door magnetic switch close signal. All right, so there we go. We got the two white switches. This is the step switch that's in there. Okay, it's got voltage coming off the 25 amp circuit, feeding it. Right, that's probably five to six amp and right right there it is five to six amps and it goes and it pulls the voltage up or it takes it away there's voltage there or it takes it away when there's voltage there we'll find out what it does and what it don't do one signal tells it hey don't pay no attention to my magnetic door switch right keep the steps out is what that does now Let's talk about the most important one, which overrides everybody. All right. It says, hold on. And this used to happen. People would leave their steps out when they were in manual mode or whatever. Um, and they would drive down the road. And uh, that would cause some problems. So there's a signal called ignition switch signal. And this is what it does, right? Here we go. Why is that? Yellow, I guess for caution, right? Red is for danger, but yellow is for caution. Once again, it's a 16 gauge wire going to the four pin connector. All right, so what's it do? The yellow chassis ignition switch override when key ignition's on. The steps retract no matter what. White wire step override says. You got it? That's the final guy. It says, hey, when I send voltage down there, you better pay attention, module, retract my step. Now, I didn't say you didn't have mechanical problems or are you not lubing your step pivot points all the time, at least once every 30 days, uh, because it puts a drain on the motor, it ups the amperage inside the module and burns them out. Your money, you get to do what you want. Right. We're gonna look at it, all right? So the ignition switch signal is the yellow wire, okay? Fuse box, yellow wire must go to terminal mark ignition. Hot when the ignition's turned on. So it goes here, a five to six amp fuse. It goes up into the module, tells the control unit, the module say, hey, bring the steps in. Okay. So that's pretty much it there. Now I'm going to talk about some other wires that are under there. I've been under a lot of RVs in my life, and I see a couple of y'all. You take both greens, the grounds, and you put them to one, one ground. Like, okay, I'm putting it over here. Well, no. Read the instructions. It tells you one of the grounds, 12-gauge ground wire, must be secured, attached to the chassis, the frame. you got to clean out all that rust up. The other 12-gauge goes to the bottom of step. That way, if it loses its ground, it's got a ground in the chassis, and this is bolted to the chassis, the step, or maybe not. It depends what the RV is, okay. So you understand, don't put them both. Yeah, it'll work for a while, but then one gets rusted, everything gets messed up. All right, here we go. What we're gonna talk about is the purple wire. A lot of you are not using the purple wire in the module. All right, so we got this purple wire. It's a 16 gauge. It's an optional step light switch to be connected to the porch light switch. So this light, you know, when you got your porch light on, right, and your stairwell lights on, some of us have those, 
this will glow orange at night and illuminate your stuff. So you just take the signal from the porch light or stairwell light, because if you got a stairwell light, you got voltage being fed to the light because they're always grounded. All right. There, there's no switch on the ground side. There's, it gets voltage sent to it. So it's a pull up switch. So you take that, that signal, apply to the purple wire, and now your light will stay on when you tell the porch light to come on. So now you got illumination on the step. You open the door, your porch light's on, and your stairwell light's all lit up. Pretty nice when it's dark out. And some of you had a few beers around the campfire. And you need a little help there. Every bit helps there. So please, folks, to take a look into that. It'll make your life a little bit easier. And I'll be going over that, too. Um, well, I will be doing a second video on these signals. All right, so thank you very much. What's the motto? Test, not guess. I showed you the wiring diagram. I told you what each wire color does. Please. Write it down, put it on your phone, let it play over the the, the um, radio system you got while driving down the road. Because a lot of you are driving for two or three, four hours, and there's your study time. You can write write this stuff down, say it on your phone, and have it through the speaker system so you can memorize it. Because there's a lot of step problems out there. So thank you once again. This is Jeff from RV Donos. What's the motto? You know it by now, right? Test not gas. What's the other saying I got? Safe travels. May your campfire burn bright till we meet again. Where are we going to meet? Might meet at the RV Diagnostics and School at 22480 Bloxham School Road. Bloxham School Road. How that worked out. Seaford, S-E-A-F-R-D, Delaware, 19973. Don't just show up. I got 50 amp water sewage in the back for you, but just don't show up. All right. I'll say hello, probably tell you come back here, but I can't get to you for a while. Um, and understand, hey, this is a school. I'm going to get you under there. Now, if you chose not get under there, well, you just drop it off to me and I'll fix it for you. All right. So that way I charge your arm and leg. If you want to learn and get under the vehicle with me and do the stuff, I'm going to show you step by step how to use a multimeter, how to use wrenches, how to use sockets and all that, then I'm only charge you an arm. That way, at least you can walk out of here and drive the RV with the other arm. Now, what's another way where we might meet? Might at the fueling station. They all got to get fueled. Uh, what's another way we're going to meet? Probably at the campground. If you see me at the campground, say hello. Stop by. A lot of people are, but kind of remember, if I'm at the campground, I'm probably trying to relax. So, yeah, we can BS a little bit, talk, have a little fun, talk about your problem. Depends how hot it is, how nasty it is. I might choose to go over there and have a little fun with you. But uh, remember, I'm retired now, so I get to select. Back in the days, I would have took your money. Um, anyway, where's another place we're going to meet? Could meet on the Facebook page, RV Diagnostics and Troubleshooting. It's going to be 29,000 members soon, folks. Thank you very much. It's grown and it's fun and we're having a blast. Uh, I don't tolerate too much. No religion, no politics, no selling of nothing, no politics, no selling of nothing. I have another page if you want to sell or trade. It's called RV Diagnostics Swap and Sell. So there you go. Where else are we going to meet? Huh? Well, we could meet on the website. That where you get my telephone number. That's a 302. But you pay it right now at $112 a year. I keep saying I'm going to take it up to $150, but I'm okay. I'm allowed to make a certain amount of money, and that's as far as I want to go with it. And we have a blast. That's where we do this phone. I'm watching what you do step by step. You're sending pictures. I'll send you pictures back. And those pictures are actually put on the uh, Facebook page, RV Diagnostics and Troubleshooting. So we go through it step by step, and other people can see what we did. The other place that we might meet is the YouTube channel, RV Diagnostics. That's over 4,500 members and over 440-some videos, folks. This one's going to be added today. This will be video one. Once again, test, not guess.